Hey, Instagrammers. Hey, everybody. It's Heather here. I'm getting ready to make some uh, chili. I know my voice is kind of husky. I'm still getting over my cold. I'm doing a lot better, though, today. I'm um, getting ready to brown some meat. I'm um, just basically going to brown it like halfway. And then I'm not going to drain it unless it's, you know, really greasy. And then I'm going to add this after about maybe five or seven minutes of um, browning my meat. Um, this is orange peppers, green peppers, uh, red onion, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of green onion. Um, I use the white part too, as well as, you know, some of the tips. But usually after the chili's finished, I'll just put, you know, some of this on top of my chili. I don't usually put too much of this, like, inside of it because it can get kind of papery. Um, and then I'm going to add, like, cilantro, you know, towards the end of the process. Um, you don't want to add anything that gets soggy too quick. So when I put this in, I'm basically going to cook it for maybe about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to start adding the beans and the corn. Um, but actually, I'm going to add the tomato puree first, you know, once I'm, you know, finished with all this. But I'll come back and show you the next steps of what I do. While my meat's browning, I wanted to um, show what kind of, like, herbs I use. I actually forgot to buy my chives today. They're actually all gone. But um, this chili's going to be a little spicy, but not too much. So I might just put a very small pinch of cayenne pepper. A little goes a long way with that. It's extremely spicy and hot. But, yeah, I'm going to definitely use my chili powder, my cumin, and my paprika. Cumin has a very strong... Uh, like a herb type smell. Some people don't like it, but I, I kind of like it. Um, it really makes the, the dish more Mexican, you know, kind of more authentic. Um, I probably won't use the smoked paprika. Um, I usually like that on my oysters and like on my seafood. But you can use that. These are just the ones I'm going to use right now. Definitely my chili powder, cumin, and paprika. Um, and of course, no chives. So I got my meat browning over here very slowly. It's on like medium. <clears throat> Use a little bit of olive oil for that. Um, I'll come back and uh, do the next steps of this. Now since I'm using a, using a lower fat meat, I'm actually not going to drain this. It's taking forever to brown, but I don't want to turn it up and burn it. I'm just going to brown it a little bit more before I add all the goodies over here. I don't want it to stick to the bottom. It's almost ready. Okay, so my meat is halfway browned. I'm going to add about a tablespoon or two of the Worcester uh, sauce. Just so that, you know, nothing sticks to the bottom of that. I don't really want to add any more oil. I'm going to toss in my goodies. Now, this is a chunkier uh, chili. If you want to cut your, your, um, your pepper 